And what you need to find is part two, U.S. Rome comparison, economy, and expenditure. Yesterday, you learned about GDP, and that is a key concept for talking about economies. And remember, we are looking in this lesson and in this module at economic issues, military expansion, and government spending. Because economic problems were a huge problem for the Roman Empire, they contributed to its weakening, and they were made worse as it had to spend more and more of its wealth trying to maintain its military. You're going to continue to look at similar issues in the United States, and our driving question for this entire module is this. Does the United States in the 21st century have the same types of economic and overexpansion problems as did the Roman Empire? These are your instructions for this assignment. Download the document. Open a new tab. Open Cami from your bookmarks bar. Drag and drop the document. Okay, now I always tell you never to make a new copy. This time I need to for my own reasons. You should always be opening copies that you've existed, that you've already worked on. Before we go any farther, make sure you type your name in here. Failing to get your name in the box will cost you five points. This is just a recap of the instructions in Canvas. This assignment is going to develop several skills. One of those is looking at visual geographic information to draw conclusions. So, and pay attention carefully to this part, because some of you are going to have questions about this later if you don't. This first map you have is the Roman Empire at its largest. What you see in between this part of the map and up here is the Mediterranean Sea. This is North Africa, Middle East, Southern Europe, Western Europe, and Northern Europe. You're going to be comparing that to this map. And in this map of the world, the Mediterranean Sea, right, Europe and North Africa is just this area right in here. You're going to use that pair of maps to answer the first question. Right, which entity had a larger physical presence in the world, the Roman Empire or the U.S. in 2020? You are also then going to use specifically these bar graphs on the second map to answer which two countries have the largest U.S. military presence. You're also going to be doing some web quest kind of work on here, which web quest is just a fancy term for good old fashioned research. Use the internet. Look up those two countries and their history and tell me, what about the history of those two countries and their relationships with the United States make them something like conquered territories? As you can tell, you've only got one line. It's not going to be a terribly complicated answer. You're going to continue looking at those two countries and you're going to research their more recent relations with the United States to answer this question. Does the United States need to worry that either country, either of those two countries, will fight America anytime soon? Explain your answer. Right, so tell me why you think so and list your sources. You do not need to get carried away. Everything is going to fit inside that box, and I'm okay if you only have one source for each country to answer that question. More are welcome, but you only need to have one source for each country. Next up, you've got a trio of things that are all related. An infographic, a pie chart, and a table. Using those three things, 
you know, answer these questions or complete these tasks. First, in order, list the countries that made up the top five military spenders in the world in 2020 and include how much money each of them spent. Using that same information, you're going to tell me what percentage of the world's total military spending in 2020 was spent just by the United States alone. I also want you to give me some comparison. How many more dollars did the U.S. spend on its military in 2020 than China spent on its military in 2020? Guys, this is not a math class. You can use a calculator. You do not have to show your work. Just want the number. Right. Now, talking about dollars is fine. Tells us something, but, and, and here's where, if Jaden was thinking, why did we have to spend all that time learning about GDP, and there's not even GDP on this next assignment. Here it is. I want you to tell me what percentage of GDP each of the top five countries spent on its military in 2020. Because if I just say, yesterday, Jaden spent $10 on lunch, and Jeremiah spent five. Jaden looks like the big spender, right? Okay. But right, then I tell Ryland, yeah, but Jaden had $100 when he started yesterday, and Jeremiah only had seven. Right now, who really spent the most on their lunch? No, it was Jeremiah. Right, he spent five of the seven dollars he had. Jaden only spent ten percent of his money. He still got ninety bucks left. Right? Jeremiah devoted a lot more of his resources to lunch yesterday than Jaden. That's where GDP comes in. All right, we know how much money those countries can afford to spend. Okay, and then finally, right, thinking about two of America's rivals, China and Russia, I want you to answer these questions. Is the U.S. or China devoting more of its economic resources to military spending? Right, so think about that percentage of GDP. And then same question, but for comparing the United States and Russia. All right, you've got some time to work on this. We do have an exit slip at the end, so get to it. I'll let you know when the exit slip's about to go live. Yes, Isaac. Yes, you may.